Hey guys, good morning. I'm doing a makeup tutorial today, so I have no makeup on. I have coffee, crazy cat lady mug, my favorite mug, and uh, some toast with strawberry jam. Uh, so that's what, if you see me eating, that is what I am doing. <laughs> today I'm gonna film my makeup. I think I'm gonna do purple and red and black. That's been my favorite recently. Uh, so while we're just chilling, I'm gonna start my foundation. I have a damp uh, sponge, which is my favorite way. It's like caked up foundation on this. Um, this is Maybelline foundation 105. Yeah, I'm just gonna put a little bit on there and start to apply. I don't always wear foundation because it's just annoying. It feels like thick and heavy. And so most of the time I just wear no face makeup or just powder or like a little bit of concealer and powder. But um, because I'm gonna be filming a YouTube video today, and for the sake of it doing a makeup tutorial, um, I'm gonna put some on. One thing I do like about wearing foundation is I like putting it like on my my eyeballs, like my eyelids, because it helps my um, eyeshadow to go on better, opposed to if there's like nothing. Um, I use other stuff, like you can use like concealer or um, NYX jumbo pencil in milk works pretty good. But this helps just kind of give it a nice, like, even base to work from. Next up, I'm going to put on some concealer. This is by uh, CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. It was just the cheapest one I could find, but I think I like it. It's pretty nice. Just going to kind of put it around just like a couple, a couple, like, kind of go-to spots. Again, using the same sponge, usually the kind of pointy end helps to get in there good. I'm trying to think of what to actually talk about. Oh my god, Kitty! Hi, Kitty! What are you doing? Um, I've been posting. Um, I've been posting a lot of reels recently. Kitty, what are you doing? You can just come in. Come on, Kitty. Come on, Kitty. Oh my god. Um, I've been posting a lot of like reels and stuff on Instagram, and I've been growing a lot on Instagram. A lot of you guys, if you've been following me for a while. Um, I was stuck at like 11k um, followers for like three or four years. Mind you, I wasn't really doing that much, like I wasn't posting consistently, I just kind of posted whenever. But I still feel like that's crazy, I was literally stuck at like 11k, 11.1k, 11k, 11.1k for like three years. Which I feel like is crazy, I don't know why it just stopped, because it was kind of growing consistently up to that point. And then... Within the last couple months, I started doing reels because that's what everyone says that you're supposed to do. And I've always wanted to be like an Instagrammer, so I was like, okay, just flipping do it even though I have no idea what I'm, what I'm doing. I still don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just going for it, so that's fun. Um, but I think I posted like 40 reels in the past like month or two and I grew to like, I'm at like 23k, so I grew over 10,000 followers in like two months, which I feel like is pretty, is pretty good. Um, but I'm so mad because I started kind of messing with reels in like November or December and Instagram was like paying, like they had this thing called like bonus reels or something. And it was like, you get a certain amount of money for people like rewatching your reels or something. Basically you just got paid from doing reels. And so I was kind of experimenting with reels in like November, December. And they weren't even doing that good, and I was only posting a couple, but I made like 200 and something dollars, like over like two or three payments. And and then as soon as I started taking reels seriously and actually getting a lot of views, like I've gotten over like 400,000 views altogether or something, um, they took the payments away. And like at the rate that I was getting paid for my reels that weren't even getting a lot of views and I wasn't even posting that much, if I made like 200 and something dollars with where I am right now, I'd probably be making like thousands a month and I'm like, why would they take it away like right when I started doing it? But oh well, I'm still happy to be growing my page. But um, were any of you guys getting paid for reels? Like that, <laughs> this sucks that they took it away. Right when I start getting into them, they take it away and I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't think you can have that. I don't think you can eat jam. No. No. 
And then finish this. I was putting on powder, just like some powder over top, uh, not, not too special or anything. And now I'm gonna put on some contour powder. Um, I don't always do this, and I, know, I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing with contour. I just kind of put it in the spots where other people put it, I guess. And then I go back in with my fluffy brush and just kind of blend it out in case it, it was too harsh or anything like that. Okay, so that is our face. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows and I know I'm going to be doing, um, I'm going to be doing purple eyeshadow on the bottom and red on the top and then like black on the outer. So I'm going to do my eyebrows to kind of match that. So I'm going to take a little bit of this uh, white. It just kind of helps it to show up a little bit better if you put white on top, which looks weird. <laughs> and then I'm going to Somewhere I have a brush. It is lost. Here it is. So I'm going to take my little spoolie and just kind of, you know, blend it in there. Make sure it's on all of the hairs. And then I'm also going to, I'm going to take my sponge and just kind of dab around it in case there's any like weird white anywhere. Okay, I'm going to do purple and then red and then black kind of deal. Um, I'm going to use eyeshadow. I'm going to use this purple. And I think this red, maybe the top red, I'm not really sure yet, but it's not that big of a deal. So we're just going to dip into the purple and put that on here. Um, I'm also going to go into this lighter purple and just kind of put it over top. Okay, and then I'm going to switch brushes and go into red. Alright, that's about good. And then we'll go in with our last one. My black, I'm going to use this palette. I'm like running out of my black eyeshadow, but that's what I'm going to use. Okay, something like that. I'm so mad. I think I was telling you guys this. I got my eyebrows microbladed like three or four years ago, and it's still there and it won't come out. And like it goes down, and I want it to be gone because I want to like do the goth eyebrow thing where it goes like straight up. But I can't, because like I can't cover it up. I've tried to cover it with concealer and you can still just see my little tail coming down here. And I'm so mad, I want it to go away, but I don't like, I think I'd have to pay someone to like remove it, like laser removal to get it out. And I'm just so mad because it was only supposed to last a while. I'm gonna kind of take my sponge and just kind of go around it, just kind of buff it out if there's anything like weird. I'm going to do my highlight on my brow, so I'm just going to take some white. Probably some eye eyebrows I could pluck, but I don't have my tweezers in here. They're in the bathroom, so I'm not going to worry about it. Now, for the fun part. So I'm going to use, I have these two brushes that I've been using for purple and red, so I'm just going to use those. I feel like, I don't know if any of you can relate, but... I have a bunch of like kind of designated brushes, like this is for purple. I have another one where it's like that's for blue and I just kind of reuse it for those colors until I wash it again. I'm going to go back in with the same ones that I kind of use for my eyebrows. So I'm going to use this purple on the bottom and a little bit of that on top probably. And then for the red I'm going to use a mix of this one, this one, and this one. This one's kind of a pinky color. but And actually I'm also going to, because I want my makeup to be kind of dramatic today, I'm gonna put some white jumbo pencil just to make it pop because I already have like concealer and stuff but I feel like this will make it pop even more like so and then I just kind of will blend it out um so I'm gonna, going to take the purple and I'm gonna make it pretty thick I'm gonna kind of bring it down pretty far which will look crazy now but just trust the process so I'm kind of dabbing it into the inner corner and then I'm bringing it down pretty far and like that and I know it looks crazy right now I never really I did this the other day and I liked how it looked but I usually don't bring it down this far I'm gonna go on top with the lighter purple like so there we go. Okay, and then we'll do the same on the other side. I like how um, 
with the jumbo pencil and milk, it really helps it to kind of stick better. Okay, so like I said, it looks kind of crazy right now, but once I do the red, it'll kind of start to balance it out, and then the black also. So now I'm just getting, I'm mixing a couple reds together, and then we're going to kind of do the same thing and make it pretty dramatic. So, so I kind of just do like little windshield wiper motions, like so. And I just bring it to about like halfway kind of down my eye. Um, okay, so for my black, I like to kind of make like a triangle. So I'm just going to start here. And then just kind of as if you're like making eyeliner. But then I like connect it over here. And then just sort of blend it. And fill it in. And then I kind of bring it over a bit. Okay, so something like that. And then I'm just gonna go on the bottom too. And then what I'm also gonna do is kind of make like, sort of a triangle, like so. Just kind of random smudginess. Something like that. So it's kind of like going down a little bit. It's super messy and it's supposed to be kind of messy. And yeah, it's probably about good. And then we'll do the same on the other side. That's about good. Um, I think I'm going to go in with this sparkly black and kind of put it in like the middle. So I'm going to just kind of pack that on. So, there's the eyeshadow. As you can see, the purple, remember it looked crazy, but now it kind of all balances out because everything else is crazy. And now I'm going to be going in with eyeliner. Um, I have two of them. I don't know why I had two going at once, and I don't remember which one is more out. I think they're both kind of out, so we're just going to kind of see where it goes. So I'm just going to do a winged eyeliner, and then I'm going to put a like crease line, kind of cool graphic eyeliner thing that I've been liking to do. I'll start with our wing. Okay, and then I'm going to take my eyeshadow brush and just kind of blot it out while it's still wet. So it almost kind of merges with my eyeshadow. Okay, and then I have to get into the corner here. Okay, and then now I'm gonna do my crease graphic eyeliner thing. It's gonna shake it really good because I know it is getting kind of little. So I'll usually start in like the middle. I'm not going to talk while I do this, so just watch, I guess. Okay, so there is the first eye pretty much done. Um, I'm going to go back and do some like lines coming on the bottom, but I'm going to finish this eye first. So then the top is just done, and we know that we're just good. So let's do this again. So that's about good, I would say. Um, so next, I'm going to do some stuff on the bottom. I like to draw on little like triangles, little fake eyelashes, make it all crazy. These can be messy, it doesn't even matter. I kind of like extended my little inner corner thing and then we'll do this side okay. 
Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do, I started doing this recently. I have this cheap uh, mascara um, that I just bought because it was all that Walmart had at the time, but now I like to use it for this, which is literally just some like messy stuff. I just literally go crazy. And I love how it looks. I feel like it just looks really cool. It's super intense, but I love it. Kind of makes it look like, I don't know, like you were crying or something. It's just a really cool effect. Like that. And then on the other side. Boom. Something like that. And then, um, now we're going to do actual mascara. This one I'm running out of, but I have a little more in this, so I'm just going to dip this brush into here, put this one away. I need to buy, I'm like running out of eyeliner and mascara right now, so definitely need to get more. Okay. And yeah, I don't like to wear fake eyelashes really. I feel like with how dramatic this look is, I probably should, but I just don't like them. They just are annoying to wear and I feel like my eyes are like heavy and I hate taking off false eyelashes so we're just gonna rock our real lashes. Okay, so that is it for the eye makeup. Now I'm gonna do uh, lipstick. And I'm going to do the same thing kind of as my eyes. I'm going to do a purple and a red. So I'm going to start with my purple, which is my main um, NYX Sway color, um, which is my go-to. And I'm going to start by putting that all over. I'm also kind of running low on this, so it's kind of dry. But that's okay. I feel like all of your makeup stuff runs out at the same time. So I start with that and then I just kind of do the red on like the, the insides kind of and I really wipe it off because I don't want that much. Um, I'm going to need a mirror for this. And then I just kind of... Then I'm going to take um, the brush that I used for my purple eyeshadow earlier and I'm just going to kind of, I don't know, like blend them together. Boom! And that is pretty much it. Um, I'm going to go put on my wig because that just really brings everything together. Um, I don't like my real hair very much. I don't know. It just, it makes me feel like I'm not ready. Like it kind of, like you know that feeling where you still feel like you're in your pajamas? Like that's how I feel about my real hair. So I'm going to put on my wig and then I feel like it'll all be better. So I'll be right back. So I actually decided, some of you might be curious how I put my wigs on. Um, so I'm going to film it because why not? Um, I'm going to look bald for a second, but that's okay. Um, so I start with one of these wig cap things, which are so, oops, um, fishnet wig cap thingies, which I freaking love. They're so good. I'm just going to get my ears out like so, and then just pull it up. They're so handy because your hair just kind of like goes in here. I just literally tuck it in. I know it's like super messy right now. But that is okay, that's the start. And then I put one of these things on top because it helps to squish down any like weirdness. And then I'm gonna look bald, which is just iconic. And uh, I'm just kind of trying to spread it out at least a little bit. I feel like I usually don't do it so messy, but because I'm filming, it's kind of a bump, but that's okay. And then this is my favorite, favorite wig. I wear it all the time. It's a little bit tangled right here. 
is my favorite one. It's like my go-to. And then I literally just plop it on over top, like so. And then kind of try to, I like to kind of pull it to the side a little. It's so hard to make it where you can't see and see like a little bit right there. But then if you pull it down too far, it looks kind of weird. But yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, this wig has little, um, there's kind of like these straps that you tighten at the back. So those are done up right now. And then there's this little like hair clip thing at the back kind of. Okay, boom. All right, so there is, I would say, the finished look. I feel like once the wig is on, it just completely, it just transforms it a lot. So yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna film um, my little try-on video. I gotta brush this wig out, but yeah. Um, I tried to kind of show it, but I hate showing my eyes like up close because you can see how I haven't plucked my eyebrows and all that stuff, and I just feel weird showing my face up close. So don't know if I'm gonna include that, but basically here is the eyeshadow look. It's basically like very dramatic on the sides and stuff, and then just kind of red and purple. I might even, sometimes when I'm done my makeup, I like to kind of touch it up at the end because I feel like it just makes it pop. Um, where is my brush? So I might just kind of go into that purple again and just kind of make sure that it's really like there, you know? Super purple. Yeah, I feel like the red looks kind of orange, but I swear to God it's red in real life, so... Yeah, I think that that's everything. My coffee is now cold. I kind of forgot to drink it during during my video, so I need to go heat it up. But yeah, anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that it was helpful seeing me do my makeup. I'm sorry I'm not the best like tutorial kind of person, but yeah, I tried. If you guys have any like tips on how I can make my tutorials better, please let me know. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing with anything, anything YouTube, and I just kind of like, I'm just constantly winging it. I don't go into it with a plan. I just do whatever. So if you got any tips, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go. So I hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.